to upgrade or not upgrade the Watchmon 1 or the Watchmon 4. Now, you might ask yourself, why would one want to upgrade to the Watchmon 4 and the new shunt if I already have one that works? Well, you're not entirely off. There's not a real good reason to at the moment because if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Unless you're like me and you try to fix it and make it better. Now, one of the other reasons why you would want to upgrade to the Watchmon 4 and the new shunt is if you want to, I don't know, it depends on your purpose really, but if you're going to be building a massive power wall, which I, well, I'd like, really like to, but it's going to take me forever. Anyway, whatever the purpose is, if you want to be able to handle more power, more power, then you have to upgrade to the bigger shunt. And having said that, the old shunt, which is the 102, is not compatible with the Watchmon 4. So don't think that you can just upgrade to the Watchmon 4 and use the old shunt. You're going to blow it up, so don't do it. But if you're one of the guys that ordered the, like, a starter kit and didn't get the shunt and you want to upgrade to the Watchmon 4, you can now do that. Or if you did what I did and got everything included starter kit, the Watchmon 1 and the 102 shunt, then you want to upgrade both. Here is a few others that the website lists. All right, so over here on the Batrium website, they have a page just for upgrading the Watchmon 1 to the Watchmon 4. Of course, they have a little video right here just to show you exactly everything that comes with it. So down here, just a little bit lower. I'm not going to list all of them, but I am going to hit just a couple of them. The pluggable screw terminals for simple installation. You cannot beat that. That's how I blew up my mine the first time around. They're gonna have more support for more inverters. And here's like I was saying just a few minutes ago about the shunt, the SPF 102 does not have serial isolation built in. Basically, you're gonna blow up your Watchmon 4 and the shunt, so don't do it. They did design a thing and it was expensive. And if you scroll down, two options that they are gonna offer is the one to four swap without the shunt or the one to four swap with the shunt. First option to upgrade is with some downtime. Basically, you're gonna send your stuff to them. They're gonna verify everything is working and basically send you the new stuff. Or you can purchase the upgrade with no downtime. They're gonna send it to you and you're gonna send your old one back. And once they get your old one, they will then refund the money. And down here, a little bit further, they're gonna tell you exactly how all of it is gonna go down. So yeah, if you do want to upgrade to the, the, well, the two like I'm gonna do, you get the Watchmon 4, the new shunt, the two new cables with the little clippies already attached to it so you don't blow it up like I did. You get the little CMU hookup which hooks up from your Longmons to the new cable, that little connection thing so you don't have to cut any of the wires, and a little screwdriver that says Batrium right on it that fit right into those little screw terminals so you don't have to go fiddle farting around looking for a little mini screwdriver. Boom! All right, so I'm gonna repeat myself one more time. If you do wanna do the upgrade, not saying that anybody has to, if you don't have a shunt now and you just want the Watchmon 4, you can do that. If you have a shunt now and you want the Watchmon 4, you have to upgrade to the Watchmon 4 and the new shunt. They're not like backward compatible, okay? All right, good. I think I'm gonna upgrade. But you know what else I'm gonna do? Some more Longmons while I'm at it too because I'm gonna be working on the next 14 packs and I'm gonna need 14 more Longmons. Ooh, speaking of new Longmons, the wires that come with them now are way different than what we were getting back in the day because I think they were having a little bit of an issue with their last supplier wire builder or something. I think they were getting like one out of a hundred that were having a little bit of an issue. So they have since upgraded wires and wire builder supplier person. So anybody that was having issues with wires, they did take care of that problem, which is another great thing about this whole Batrium BMS system or, or the company or Jaren and all them. They're always seeking out information from the community, Facebook, Second Life Storage, all the websites. They're finding out what the problems are and fixing them. They're always looking to improve, which is awesome. I don't get paid to say any of this stuff. I just really believe in this and that's why I do it. And I wanted to 
share that with you guys. All right, so having all that said, I think I'm gonna upgrade. Do you guys remember the first time I ordered the Batrium starter kit? Well, if you weren't aware, back then whenever I ordered it, it seemed like it took forever. And come to find out why is they shipped by Kangaroo. But that's not the entire story. You're only seeing just a little portion of it. Let me show you how the shipping really went down. I know, crazy story, right? But that's not the entire story. It goes on. He actually crashed in the Bermuda Triangle. Had a crap time trying to get rescued. Well, that didn't work, so he had to make his own boat. Well, that didn't really work either because after the Batrium got away from him, there were pirates everywhere. Pirates everywhere, cannons, guns, knives, everything. Fighting over the Batrium, it's crazy. I don't know how it got like back in time. Oh, I bet that was the Bermuda Triangle. Must've did that. It was like a time warp or something there, right? We're still not done. From there, it was transferred over to... Just 
before you hit the switch track up ahead. I know, we still gotta get all the way to my house. Guess how it got here. I guess I am. Yeah, I don't know. The craziest shipping store I have ever seen. But all in all, it finally did end up getting here. And then, of course, not too long after that, I blew it up. Okay, well that is not anywhere close to how they do their shipping now. After I did the whole purchase and whatnot, and once they got everything ready to go, Jaren sent me a message, yeah, it'll be there Monday or Tuesday, and this is like Thursday or Friday. And I'm like, this is how it went. Hello? Yes? Yeah, can you hear me? Hey, Joe! Are you there? Can you hear me? Joe! Can you hear me now? Are you there? Can you hear me meow? Joe! Can you hear me meow? Hey, Joe! Are you there? Kind of. You sure? Alright, I live kind of in a dead zone, so I'm gonna go outside real quick. Hopefully I can get a better signal, but you told me I needed to go outside anyway. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work, but I'll, let me run outside real quick. All right, all right, now you can hear me, right? Okay, good. Yeah, I just don't get very good signal here at my house. Okay, so all I need to do is be ready to catch it, I guess. I'm not really sure how this is gonna work, but whatever you say. I'm gonna put down the phone so I can be ready. So as soon as you say ready, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang up. All right. Give me a go, no, go for launch. We're go fly. We're go. 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 We are go. We're go fly. Launch control and we are go for launch. We are go for launch. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was that fast. I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but best decision ever. All right, enough of that. Let me let me show you what we got.
That new 3D printed cover looks real sexy on there, doesn't it? Ow! Look how good this stuff looks. And it's so easy to put together. I don't even think I could screw this one up. Also, as you can see, he also sent a couple extra boxes of stuff in here with extra screwdrivers and stickers. So for any of you guys that do not plan to upgrade to the Watchmon 4 or maybe don't want to right now, but you do have the Watchmon 1 and the expansion board, make sure you let me know because I will be giving away a couple of these 3D printed covers and stickers and screwdrivers. I just have to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that because there's only a couple, but there's a whole bunch of screwdrivers. So we'll figure out that here shortly in the future. All right, so if any of you guys do want to do the buyback program or the upgrade to Watchmon 4, make sure you click on the link down below. It'll take you directly to where you need to go and hopefully answer any questions you may or may not have. All right, so that's pretty much all I got. I just wanted to show you guys exactly what's going on here. I am upgrading from the Watchmon 1 and the SPF 102 mod shunt to the Watchmon 4 and I can't remember what the new shunt is called. I'm just going to call it a shuntmon because I think that's what they're all called anyway. I wanted to show you exactly what I got that the option is available for those of you that do want to do that or if you wanted to get more information about it make sure you click on the link down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It'll just take you directly where you need to go. All right, so big thanks to Jaren and Bruno with all that power, man, for sending this out that fast. I mean, you guys will not be disappointed with the shipping, I swear. I don't know if you're gonna get it the exact same way I got it, but it's gonna be fast. So it looks like me and Skippy, I think that's the name, Skippy? Skippy, have an upgrade video to do. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. The wires, remember I was telling you about the wires? Let me show you the difference. I just gotta get the rubber band off so I can get one of the wires out. Or maybe I can keep the rubber band on. Oop, got it. Huge difference, man. Huge difference in these things, holy crap. Is that recording? Hell yeah. Because he landed in the what is that over there? I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> this is because after it floated away. Yeah, crazy, I know. And then all of a sudden it was like a big pirate battle. I mean, there's guns blazing, dead pirates, sharks, but the story doesn't end. All of a sudden it's like the Wild West. <laughs> Okay. Michael J. Fox ended up dropping it off and I mean that was pretty cool because I got to see the, no he didn't have the DeLorean. Uh, if you want to, um, uh, um, 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 <gasps> What's that? It's a little kangaroo. Stay. Stay.